Last week, I discussed why I think buyers are ignoring the sales contract when they have a foundation repair contractor look at the foundation in lieu of a licensed engineer. This video discusses some additional reasons why it is not a good idea to get a foundation contractor involved in the inspection phase. First, there's the credibility issue. A foundation contractor, like any tradesperson, has an obvious financial interest in performing the work. For this reason alone, he or she cannot be said to be unbiased and independent. The seller will know this and almost certainly consider any recommendation for repair to be biased and not credible. Second, if the buyer does not retain an engineer at the start of his option period, they may find that they need a foundation report when they only have a day or two left before the option period expires. Getting a foundation repair contractor involved at this point only makes the time issue even more critical. Third, bear in mind that repair contractors do not write reports. They make sales proposals. The proposals usually offer no reasonable explanation as to why the foundation repair is recommended. Fourth, any foundation repair proposal will be contingent on the owner accepting the risk of damage to his property caused by the repair process. There is no limitation on the nature or amount of damage he must accept. No rational or even semi-rational seller would do this. Fifth, professional engineers have a legal and ethical obligation to be a faithful agent of their client. Repair contractors have no such obligation. Six. The normal warranty covers only the piers or piles that the contractor installs. It does not cover the foundation. Their only ob obligation under the warranty is to adjust their piers and piles. They do not guarantee that the foundation will be level or that it will be stable. They only warranty that their piers or piles will not settle more than a specified amount. The reality is that the problem is not normally settlement. It's almost always heave, the opposite of settlement. Yet repair piers and piles are useless against heave. That can be solved only by identifying the source of the moisture causing the problem and correcting it. The source is usually under slab plumbing leakage, poor drainage, tree issues, or poor watering practices, or all of the above. 7. Lifting the perimeter of the foundation may provide temporary relief but it can also make it easier for moisture to accumulate underneath the slab, eventually making the problem worse, not better. In addition, lifting the foundation can pull under slab sewer plumbing apart, making the problem far worse than it would have been had nothing been done. I hope you found this week's topic to be of interest and of some value to you. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. The advantage of subscribing is that every time I upload a new video, you will be informed by email by, from YouTube. If you know of any other real estate agents who could benefit from my YouTube channel, please send them a link. In the meantime, I hope you have a, have a profitable week, and I'll try to have a new video out next week.